Hey there guys, I'm a homosexual Bulbasaur. Today we're here to review an NDP. NDP. First of all, let me just say, uh, let me just apologize for being gone for so long. I know I said, oh, I'm getting back into video making. Here I go, right back into the, right back into the old grind and then I disappear. It's like, well, I guess that's the short-lived adventure right there, but no, nah, I was... I was doing, I was moving into this, if you've seen that video where I showed the apartment, I'm in a new apartment. So that's what, that's why it took so long. But I'm back into it, back into reviewing little indie people stuff, indie people music. So let's get right in to the long-awaited review of the EP known only as... So Leon Camel, Leon Cam Camille... Leon Should I ask how to pronounce his name? So Leon Cabbage Patch is an electronica artist from uh, hailing from Los Angeles Well actually hailing from Russia I do believe but now currently residing in Los Angeles Fun fact and uh, this his debut EP the ghost is clear is what we are covering today Now I'm not really the biggest listener of this kind of super chill vibey kind of uh electronic music uh and with, along with similar genres to that uh nothing against the music or anything i can definitely appreciate what it's going for i can appreciate the kind of feel it gives and i can appreciate uh if it's done well uh but you know it's just not something i gravitate towards so admittedly i don't know all too much about this type of music because i just don't listen to it as much as I do other genres and styles of music but objectively this EP is actually pretty well done I have to say I did enjoy it so from Leon Kennedy's Bandcamp page it says that he pretty much did all of the work uh, on his own pretty much which is impressive because this does sound uh, pretty professional I have to say the music does sound pretty clean uh, the vocals here and there sound really professionally recorded the music is well produced it perfectly fits the feel and the vibe that he's going for of the super relaxing like super just calming lovely background little electronica stuff everything blends together well like uh, nothing sticks out too much the vocals fit really well and they're really interesting they remind me a lot of fever ray type stuff which is cool because anything that reminds me of fever ray is pretty pretty top notch and like i said it just achieves its goal of being super chill relaxing music incredibly well i personally like the song uh, summer ends in fall uh the most out of all of them on the project it just has some really cool synth sounds that i think work really well and also the song nico nico is interesting just because of kind of how quirky and out of left field it is it's kind of got some weird production and sound effects jumping into some of the negative aspects of the ep though uh for one not to say that any of the other songs besides the two that i mentioned are necessarily bad which they aren't but uh they just kind of all bled together they're all just like super chill relaxing like background music Nothing really stuck out to any individual song. After listening through them, I couldn't remember too much musically what went on in that song. Which, of course, is probably meant to be because of just what kind of music it is, what style of music it is, and what vibe uh, Leon is going for. The super chill thing. Things aren't really supposed to stick out and grab your ear and be distinct. Things are supposed to, like I said, blend together really well and just create this atmosphere of relaxation which it does incredibly well so in the end this is probably just a personal gripe on me uh like i said not the biggest listener of this kind of music so that's probably just playing that playing into this the music's not at all bad it's just to me i just enjoy things that have a little bit more distinctness to it like something that has something ear grabbing something that grabs your attention and says look in interestingness is happening but if you're just relaxing wanting something to put you in a mood rather than just listening to the music and just paying attention to it this it does it it does it extremely well like you would you this go into this album for that kind of thing you wouldn't be disappointed any bit any bit any bit at all the only other thing i really have a gripe about is some of the mixing is a bit iffy on a few of the songs uh to me personally it sounds like it was mixed in headphones 
uh, which if you don't know, mixing in headphones and mixing on speakers or monitors uh, can give you varying results. Usually headphone mixes are a bit less, I don't want to say high quality, but they have some quirks to them, I'll say. Some of these quirks are like messiness in the bass area of the songs, maybe some muddiness, uh, things like that, and maybe some weird just volume differences that in headphones sound good but when you play them on a speaker uh just it, it sounds a bit off the bass on a couple of the songs is noticeably louder than the rest of the instrumentation on the songs not to the point where you can't hear anything else at all but to the point where it's a bit distracting how loud the bass is compared to everything else and on a few songs also some of the drums in particular get a bit peaky they sound like they're clipping a bit or something they're a bit distorted like they're a bit too loud or something or they were maybe compressed weirdly i don't know but it's just something as an audio engineer that i noticed that while it definitely won't ruin the experience for anyone it's something that you know sticks out to me so in conclusion i think the ghost is clear is a really well made little relaxing ride and i think it is definitely worth che worth checking out if, especially if you're into that kind of super chilled out uh, i forget what it's called deep wave or something i don't know weird genre electronica names i don't know these things i'm not the most knowledgeable on that kind of thing the ep perfectly achieves what it's going for and even though it might not be necessarily my thing i can definitely appreciate what it is and what it can do for people and how people can appreciate it more than maybe i can they can enjoy it maybe more than i can not to say i didn't enjoy it because i did enjoy it it's just isn't something that I see myself really going back to all that often because it's just not really my thing personally. But I can definitely recommend this to somebody who enjoys that kind of chill music, is looking for some really nice background relaxation music, come home, hard day at work, just slop off your clothes. You're like, man, life's tough. I just need, I just need some, some really, really zoned out music put me in the mood to just to just not exist i don't want to exist for a few minutes here boom ghost is clear you'll be like dang this ghost it is very clear there's nothing in here that you'll be humming or even remember all that much once the ep is over but uh you will enjoy the ride while in the ride you just won't remember too much of it afterwards so in the end i would give the ep uh three and a half dank boys out of five it is very well made. I do appreciate it. And I think Leon did a, did himself a pretty good job. I'm very interested to see what else he can do. This was, like I said, released very recently. So let's see what else Leon Boy can do. If he makes something else, maybe I could cover it too. He, keep at it, Leon. Doing good. You're doing good. All right. Let's spin that wheel, baby. Where's it going to be? Right here? editing me put it right here all right right here all right there's the wheel you see it mm. all right spin it ready oh spin it. nice so our boy sean that boy sean is gonna be i guess the topic for next week his little ep uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out uh, Leon's little juiciness. I have some links down below. Go check out his stuff. Check out the rest of the channel. Uh, be anticipating next week's things. And be anticipating other videos of other types. Not just music stuff. But you know what? I got some ideas. Got a whole place to film the ideas. Create the ideas. So... You're gonna like it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Love you. Mean it. Have a good day.